been covered up in birds all morning. There's four striders over here. The two dominant birds chased the subordinate birds off. They've been minus gobbling all morning. The eight hens, the two dominant striders took off north. And then them, these two other two-year-old birds come back in the field, but then we call some jakes in. And them two-year-old birds are beat up so bad the jakes have got them spooky. So they've got both two-year-old birds split up. And the jakes went back in the woods. So we're going to hang tight here a little bit. We're going to try to put an arrow on these two-year-old birds. So stay tuned. It's been an exciting morning. Bushwhacking folks. They beat us up. This is the third day. He comes strutting out in the field. I seen him down here. Shot him probably 50 some yards. He wanted to come in. We didn't call. We've been hammered. They've been on hens. So we'll go grab him. We'll be right back. We'll take a look at him. Okay, folks, we got the bird. A little bit further across there than I thought, but with the loads we're shooting and the choke tube wipe, it was no big deal. So we got the job done. But a little recap of the story: we've been down here three days hunting in Fayette County. We've been beat up three days, two days in a row, hard, beat hard, hunted hard at one o'clock both days. So we come in today with a plan. Um, I got my uh, outline buster on from Quaker Boy that attaches to my uh, to my hunter or to my Quaker Boy. Best of blind, and uh, that done the job. We set up by some little trees, so that really helped us brush in. And uh, we called just a little bit. He answered us through there. We had another bird over here, and we had a bird behind us. So we was kind of set up where we needed to be in between all these birds. The past two days they've been all together, but this morning they threw us a curveball, and they was split up and wasn't roosted where they was at the day before. So we stuck to our original plan. 
and hung out and uh, got some real good footage the past two days. Today was pretty good. He came out in the field strutting a little bit after I called there. I pointed, I told Jason, I said, there he is. I said, he's right out there in the, in the field. He came up here and he was actually headed north on us and strutted and he started skirting the timber side a little bit. Looks like it's fixing the rain a little bit windy this morning, so he's a little spooky. He uh, kind of skirted us a little bit. I just asked Jason if he was on him and I didn't tell him I was getting ready to shoot, but I knew my cameraman Jason does a good job. I knew he'd be on him, so I want to thank Thermosel, Quaker Boy, we called him in with Thug Glass Call, and Gobble Gobble Boom Volume 3 is going great. We've got three hunts on video. This is the third one. Now we're going to go Jason season open today. So I want to thank Jason for missing opening morning to come down and film me in Fayette County, but now we're going to flip the favor and we're heading to Shelby County. So come with us on the Edge Outdoors.